What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Uh, we've got a lot to talk about in the Luna Classic community. We're going to be looking at the charts, whether or not we can get a pump. I, I told you guys, I think there's a breakout happening. As a matter of fact, I just saw on Twitter that Mr. Diamond Hands himself is seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. I like the fact that people recognize the signals. I like the uh, that, that people recognize these signs when they pop up, and they are popping up right now. So uh, we're going to talk about some of the news that's going around. We still don't have an update on Terraform Labs, but when we have closure on that, I think that's going to start a little bit of a pump uh, because we'll have some clarity in the market, even if that penalty is you know, $5.3 billion or whatever uh, wild amount. Judge Jed Rakoff is responsible for, and of course, Judge Jed Rakoff, just another one of those celebrities that must have launched the uh, a celebrity token, the Judge Rakoff token? Who? What kind of judge would launch that? I don't know. I, it really wasn't him, but you get my point. Um, we, have, uh, uh, we have a decision to make, and I'm very curious to see what that decision is. Now, before we get started, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. Also, Spreadshirt down there, uh, there are some shirts available for you to go check out, so go check those out today. All right, guys, so first up, Terra Luna Classic Community rejects the proposal to raise the burn tax to 1.5%. Now, um, th this was a member of the Lunk community has called out the proposal saying that uh, it's illogical and an example of lazy effort. Um, and now, that does not mean that that is the case. Everybody wants to see less tokens in circulation because the remaining bag becomes more valuable. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. And we shouldn't go after people because of that. Now, uh, the point, the most important point here is only 21% approved it. So at least 70% of the people out here understand why it's not a good idea. Now, uh, I also agree that it was not a good idea, but I, I'm starting to reconsider my position a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm ready to, to say otherwise, but let me just say this. Right now, there's, you know, 30, 40, 50 million dollars worth of transactions happening on Luna Classic. Part of the reason that it was Binance doing most of this is because it was prohibitive uh, to use the chain because it was a zombie or a ghost chain, if you will, and didn't work and function. Well, that's changed a little bit. So in fact, we could take over control of that. I don't know that we're ready for that moment yet. It's my opinion. So there will be a time and a place where we would be able to consider a higher tax rate or a higher tax purpose, if you will. But as long as everybody's trading on Binance, who doesn't care and will not upgrade and do what we need them to do, then um, you know we have a problem. Also, it is ridiculous for you or me to give up 1.5% of our bag every time we want to make a trade. That means that if we want to do a 1% trade using leverage or something like that, every time a trade gets executed, then you know we would have to uh, lose some of our investment. And of course, you could call it, well, that's exactly how it's going to work. No, that's, that's not. Uh, in fact, that's why my repeg proposals that, um, that I've considered have always included after the sale because we don't want a pre-sale tax to uh, or 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 a, a tax that hits you the consumer we want that tax to be implemented or that burn to be implemented based on the trade and settled in the background and not you know you paying for that so we'll see how this goes by the way i'm using a new browser uh, if you like this browser it's called the arc arc browser so uh, you can certainly go check that out for yourself later on um, on the Commonwealth, there's been no change. On Coin Hall, you can see here Terra starting to trend a little bit. It's the number one trending token, along with Lenny Lunk and Rakoff. Um, can't believe he launched his own token, but still 5x on the week here for the MAGA token and SHC in the last 24 hours. Look at this nice pump over here. A 9x in the last hour just happened. So, um, you know, pay attention to the volume, look at, uh, decide what your risk is and, and do that. Let's talk about price action. All right. So we come back over here. Uh, we see, this is what I called yesterday. I said, you know, the likely scenario is if we maintain this trend right here, then we're going to be fine. Well, we in fact did not maintain that trend. Uh, we lost that trend. And then of course, Scott summarily rejected by the same line that I said that we cannot lose. Now, the question at this point would be, can we continue an upward trend on that line? Now, the market dipped very heavily in the last few hours. That's what you saw over here uh, with this little sell-off happening 
in the early hours, my time, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Um, that's Middle Eastern markets, I think. So um, it seems like there was a little bit of a FUD or, or something as we crossed the globe, if you will, from China. So uh, a little bit of a sell down, a little bit of a sell off, maybe even late trading in China caused a, a, a sell down. But it very quickly got bought back. So you you might even be able to argue, and I haven't looked yet, that it's a liquidity sweep. And that's the only reason that it happened like that. So we'll be watching this. Uh, I would predict some aggressive movement to the upside if, in fact, we're going to get back in this uh, channel. And if not, then it changes the dynamic of where we are. In fact, if we were to come back out here and realign, if you will, there is still a trend line going towards uh, with, with upward mobility, upward momentum. And you can see that one kind of playing out right here. Uh, still leads kind of to the same place, but it's a tightening of a longer sort of channel. And dare I say, if I move this out just a little bit more, I might even catch the wick of something. No, I don't catch the wick of anything over there. So we're going to use this spot right here and just say that, you know, either way, there's upward momentum. This trajectory here, probably not, that's a little bit too crazy, if you will. So uh, still uptrend, still on the move. That would indicate that there's still positivity in the market. USTC, well, what have we here? What did I tell you yesterday? Uh, I told you if we don't get that continuation and test up at the top, then the most likely scenario is we start going through this little uh, triangle uh, channel and breaking our way up and down through that one. And what do we do? We came down here and tested it, came down here and tested it, came up here and tested it as well. So uh, are we going to finish this move and come back up here at the 23? If we do, I would expect a bigger dump, even uh, harder down because it will be another rejection at that 2.3 cent, 2.4 cent line. Coming back down into the twos, for a retest, that's going to create. I mean, look, here's what's going to happen. Um, whales are going to start fudding you. They're going to uh, they're going to start dumping. You're going to get nervous. You're going to sell off a, a little bit too. That's going to help them help you know, pump their bag, if you will, uh, so that they can accumulate at a lower price, so that they can then do the same thing and run it back up. This is a widening channel potentially. It's not yet, but it could be a widening channel. Uh, by the time this all plays out, uh, looking a little bit more like you know, this right here, um, kind of moving upward. Maybe we get a bigger uh, wick on the next test, but it probably falls back into this range until there's a reason otherwise. Now, uh, I can also say that over the longer term here, it looks like we're still in a, a shorter uptrend, but an uptrend nonetheless. So, um, that's if this is a complete move. If not, we move it down here and you can make an argument that it's still kind of uh, in the positive. Nonetheless, it, it looks like USTC doing pretty good. Proposals up here, uh, the increase the burn tax, not going to happen. Uh, 1210, uh, the 12110, the Con Cosmos upgrade, that's going to work. Uh, and then, of course, you have this one is the change mode of splitting burn tax and increasing. And as you can see from this one, there's just absolutely no situation in which it is going to pass as well. Burn tracker, 396 million, not a whole lot, but of course, Binance burns in, I want to say two days. So you know, we'll see what the burn looks like at that point. Now let's talk about our project for the day. I'm actually pretty excited about this MBA token. Now we've talked about this a little bit before. However, there's a big announcement that just popped up on the radar. I'm going to play the video for you in just one second. But here's the thing. Um, this is a planetary conquering video game that we're about to implement MBA token into. Now this is very early in the process. It's going to be a first person shooter full world map capabilities. Uh, so it's basically going to be a full 3D experience. There is a mock-up, which I'm going to show you. Uh, the game will offer NFT characters, NFT weapons, transportation vehicle tools. Uh, and, and look, th th there'll be a seamless integration into this. You don't have to just go, go to a website to buy the NFT. You don't have to, you know, th there'll be an integration process that they will work through. The storyline is the conquering uh, planets and planetary takeover, uh, starting with Mars. And it's going to be M-A-R-Z. Um, and they're going to take it over and they're trying to colonize the, this whole situation. You're trying to colonize Mars before Elon Musk colonizes Mars. Uh, all the proceeds from the game uh, are going to be splitting between adding to the NBA treasury that holds only Luna Classic that consistently buys back NBA. Uh, and soon, daily with the staking rewards generated from our staking partner, Elbun Validator. Buybacks go towards stabilizing and strengthening LP. While we appreciate the price organically, the other half will go towards burning Luna Classic 
music at a rapid rate with increased gameplay. So the more you play, the more you burn. That's exactly what I think you guys have been wanting all of this time. So remember, this is a very early preview that I'm giving you right now, but you can kind of get an idea of what the rendering looks like. And here you go. So again, this is early on. Uh, you can see the shading. You can see a little bit. It looks like early on of some ray tracing with the shine coming off of the armor. Uh, the armor does not look too heavily pointy or anything like that. It looks fairly simple. Now you can see the walking motion a little bit. Uh, obviously, uh, still going to need a little bit of work to, to get it where it is. And right now, this is the only thing that's uh, the functioning on it right now. It's just a little bit of a, uh, a move like this. Planetary exploration, you can see from the, the red everywhere, the red sands. This is, of course, going to be Mars. Uh, and your job is going to be to colonize Mars. And that's Elon's goal. That should be your goal, right? Folks, the bull market is about to take off and you don't have enough crypto. You know how you can get more crypto? Cryptonomy.finance. Not only are they giving away up to $100,000 worth of Pepe just by you signing up for their website, but you can earn yield off of the crypto that you stake with them now. Guys, I staked 1.29 ETH. I already have 0.5 ETH in return. Uh, this expires November 21, 2024. Scheduled interest on it, 0.99 total ETH. I'm going to earn an ETH just for my staking. And let's not forget the launch pool. We've had another big one. Uh, Theta Knots Finance did a 12X. Arrow Markets did a 2X. Uh, these guys are putting out continuous multipliers, and they're getting you in for the best results on these swaps. In the next few weeks... An Android app is going to launch, then an iPhone app is going to launch. Cryptonomy.finance is making it easier for you to earn yield off of your crypto simply by staking. We're going into the bull run. It's about to get crazy. That's where the millions and millions are made. Don't you want to be a part of it? Sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Anyway, uh, MBA token, M-B-A, Mars breeds abnormality i want to say that's not really what it means but it's pretty funny when you think about it anyway so if you if you look and you're and you're trying to play total recall uh and you're trying to um it's not total recall but if you're trying to play total recall mba we haven't named the the, the game doesn't have a name yet by the way uh other than mars is ours so we'll see how this plays out but uh this is a great opportunity for you uh if you are looking for an early access if you're looking for something like that start grabbing yourself some mba token and of course if you want to you go to coinhall.org uh, so you can go check out the price action stuff like that um or, or or terraport if you want to because that's the sponsor of the channel uh and then if you want to trade um uh, you want to burn some tokens and you like risk-based gaming go check out terra casino and then uh if if you want to burn even more tokens, go trade at weeks. Go do it. Go go trade. Go do it. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.